Some of you guys want an overlanding experience, but just can't justify spending $30,000 on a rig plus all the additional gear. Well, there's a simple solution to this. Guys, we are spoiling ourselves today. We have a 2020 Toyota with a three inch lift, a rooftop tent, and all the bells and whistles for overlanding and getting off the beaten path. That's being rented from Alaska Overlander. And then as you can see here, you guys know this trailer. This is the XTD from Valiant Trailers. If you haven't seen our video, Jordan makes these trailers up in the valley. Pairing these two up today to get out on the road. I think we travel enough to justify, you know, some sort of overland rig setup like this. But when I start thinking about how much I would actually use it, that's when I start wondering if it's worth the investment for me. So most of the places here in Alaska that are off the beaten trail, I can get into a majority of them without a lifted trailer, without a big overland rig. Truly, I would probably use this overland setup maybe four or five weekends out of the year. The rest of the time, just a typical trailer and tow vehicle can get me anywhere I wanna go. So that's actually the best, up into here. And so for me, the easiest way to at least test this out or see if it's even worth it for our family is to rent something. And it's costing per night about the same price as it does to get a nice hotel here in Alaska. We built this rig uh, to be able to go to some of the places that are really kind of out there. Um, some of the special places for us that we go camping with our family. You know, we want to kind of share what the state has to offer in, in a way that is unique and different. We hit a critical age in our life when we, we've got three kids. Uh, we have a 13 year old and, and uh, twin 10 year olds. And uh, we wanted to kind of share Alaska with them. You know, we realized very quickly that our kids are growing up and growing out and uh, wanted to create some memories for them. So we uh, decided to get into overlanding and camping and really kind of exploring the state. Own wave. After doing that for a number of years, uh, we decided to go down to uh, the Grand Canyon with the kids. Um, but we rented an overlanding vehicle because that was what we're familiar with. And, uh, and then pretty much over the fire every night, we're talking about kind of, hey, we could do this in Alaska. Yeah. We, we know the places and, and we, uh, we've worked in the industry and we know what tourism's about. And, you know, we want to kind of share what the state has to offer in, in a way that is unique and different. We can create a venue in a way that allows people to kind of go to some of the parts that are kind of off the tourism path or the traditional tourism path. Uh, and go see some of the places that Alaskans like to go to to get away from, you know, their daily, their daily areas and get to explore this amazing state. <laughs> I'm getting birds because I'm so cold. Um, we recently just finished building Denali and uh, we've got Nanook next, uh, which is in the process of being built. And then we have a trailer which is called Susitna, uh, which Valiant Trailers is building for us right now. And we'll have that in time for the summer season. And uh, we thought we'd start off there and kind of see where, where it goes. So I got on Google and started looking for overland companies all across the country, just like Alaska Overlander. And I was surprised to find they are popping up everywhere. And this is neat because if you're limited on time, so let's say you have two weeks to take a vacation. One of my favorite things that I like to suggest to people is taking that teardrop trailer across the country. That's the beauty of seeing a new place is the journey in between. But sometimes you don't have that time to come all the way from the lower 48 to somewhere, let's say like Alaska, or you can't drive that teardrop to Hawaii, right? Well, there's the beauty in these rentals. You fly in and they actually bring these to you right at the airport. So you don't have to look for the hotel. You don't have to, you know, wander around looking for things. Everything is right here your cook sets are here your sleeping areas your sleeping bags they provide GPS and GoPro cameras everything is there so you can hop in get your adventure and get your time worth so we went with the AIB drawer systems because one they got a good amount of quantity that people can put it into easy to secure here we have the griddle and here we have our camp chef mountain air oven and then we have our front runner cutlery set uh, main knives, silver spoons, even got a cutting board, everything you need for 
your, uh, your get up and go. The Dymetic Fridge and Freezer Unit. This is the 55. So I mentioned when you're renting these, you need to look into what sets them apart from each other. And the three things that stuck out to me about Alaska Overlander, number one, they provide 24 seven support, meaning wherever you're at out there, you can either give them a call and they're gonna walk you through it, or they'll just come out and help you out. They'll get you out if you get stuck in the sand or like in this type of weather, if you get stuck in the snow, they will find ways to make your trip work, to make your trip enjoyable. You know, when it's Alaska ran and owned, you're paying for a vehicle, but the money you pay is so worth it just for their insider knowledge. These guys are going to get you away from the crowds. They're gonna find you their secret special boondocking spots. You're gonna have epic postcard pictures and videos that nobody else would have if they just drove up here on their own. <laughs> Does it get much better than that? Look at that, it's as crystal as you can get that water, right? The other thing is they don't have restrictions on where you can go. They want you to go up the hall road. They want you to go to the ends of the earth. They're not restricting you to the pavement, but many companies, they really do restrict where you go. So make sure you see that in the fine print, what you're getting yourself into. The next one is insurance. Many are requiring you to have your own insurance and you never know in the back of your head if you're going to be nickeled and dimed to death when you get some little scratch or something and how they're going to react to it. And from the vehicle build perspective, we build it for these roads too as well. So um, we've selected Toyo tires, we've selected all-terrain tires because we wanted them to be able to kind of hit the tarmac as well as hit the off-road uh, from the perspective of these rough road conditions. We've got a three-inch lift just to lift those vehicles up off of the road uh, to be able to cover uh, any of those uh, hazards that may come across. We built the suspension in a way that can handle uh, the bumps and the bruises as you're coming through those roads as well. And then the rims and the tires are all spec and designed for Alaskan roads and Alaskan conditions. We looked around and we saw some of the companies that were, that were out there that do something similar and they're all kind of 15, 20 year old vehicles and nothing against our competitors. It just, we were, um, you know, we know that some of the locations that we go to are remote. So we wanted to find vehicles that were capable uh, of handling those needs. So we purchased Toyota 4Runners, we went with 2020 models, we went with the off-road edition, which has lockers, uh, has a lot of the cool control functionalities that you need, and it's a great platform. The Toyota is a fantastic platform. Uh, jump in a vehicle that they know where it's been, they know it's been well maintained, uh, and they can just get up there, hit the road, and have an amazing experience. Oh my. You can take it. Okay, very nice, thank you. So one of the benefits again too of the uh, the Forerunner uh, is this the size. You know, um, when you rent an RV, it makes it very tough. These towns are one road in, one road out, and they're very small towns. And when you're trying to manage an RV and be able to actually experience the communities too as well, uh, it makes it a little tougher with an RV. Whereas these, uh, it's a it's a typical Forerunner. So wherever your your car can fit into, uh, these can fit into very easily. Um, they can go into camping spots that an RV could not get to. Uh, they can go to what's, you know, I have a bad case of what's down the end of that road itis, right? So I wanna see what's down the end of that road and typically you find an amazing lake or an amazing camping spot. Uh, and, uh, and it's a rough road to get to that point. With these vehicles, you can get there. Uh, with an RV, you, you really can't, can't do that. So it just enables you to see more, a little bit more of what the state has to offer. Uh, now let's go to the tent. Uh, so we have Denali. Denali is a vehicle with the iCamper shell. Uh, we have Nanook, which is a soft shell 23-0 tent. Um, but with Denali, we wanted to go with the, the hard shell and the 270 awning. We wanted to be able to kind of provide two different experiences for our clients. That's a tent? Isn't that That's awesome? Whoa! <laughs> the reason why we chose this tent is because it's easy to set up. It's an iCamper shell. It's a hard shell. As you'll see here very shortly, very easy to set up for clients. Um, easy to open, easy to break down. You're not wrestling with canvas and therefore making it a tough experience when you're out there in, out in the wild. Pull out the, the ladder. And 
just like that, you're ready to go. The great thing about the eye camper is that it's actually a king size bed. Um, and the reason why we selected the, the, the eye camper double shell is because we kind of thought about that experience of maybe two couples uh, or a family with one or two kids and they could be able to um, fill out the same space and be able to do the trip. So here's a propane tank, nice little five pound model. And then over here we have the front runner chairs. And we give these to one for every single client. So on this side, for uh, cleaning the dishes, everything here is a pop out, rubber made simple bucket. And in here in this ARV box, Axe, plates, bowls, coffee for the morning. And then we have, provide towels and toilet paper, and of course, salt and pepper and everything you need for doing the dishes. And here is your table too as well, for when you set it up. So a nice little six foot table. And we also have a first aid kit. Anything happens, grab and go. Lanterns as well for the clients. Your next family adventure doesn't have to break the bank. I would suggest looking in your area for overland rental companies near you. And if you know overland isn't your thing, check out Outdoorsy for other small campers you can rent. It's a great way to get your family out there and create new memories. Now, if you like these trailers you saw today from Valiant, in our description, I'll have links to our videos and reviews of those trailers. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and families. That's what helps out our channel. Guys, spring is right around the corner. I am so excited to hear about your next camping adventures.